Okay, so um, welcome back to my um, new video. Um, in this video, um, we are going to create um, a Go uh, Weather CLI application using Open Weather Map API. Okay, so if you check my previous videos on uh, Go, you realize that I did some couple videos on how to consume this um, API endpoint. And then we deploy it to Kubernetes and things like that. But this video, um, the idea is to build a CLI for it. So we are going to be using Kubra library. So um, this is how the application works. Um, so if we type we CTL and then we pass in the city and then we say uh, Houston. So that is the name of the city. So once we enter, it tells us the temperature. The temperature at Houston is this. And then let's check for, um, let's say Atlanta, Georgia. This is 19 degrees Celsius. And let's check for Dallas, Texas. You see, the temperature at Dallas is um, 28. Okay, so this is the command uh, CLI application we want to build. Okay, so um, if you look at the directory structure, we have a CMD, we have util, and then we have some .env, which contains our environment variable. I'm, going to, I'm not going to show it because it has my API key in there. Um, Docker file and um, deployment YAML file. Um, we are not going to use these two files. And then um, we have a main um, file, Go file, which has just one uh, function and is executing this method. So now let's go inside the utils. If I open the utils, you can see we have a bunch of uh, methods in there. So the first method is to get the environment variable. Okay, this environment variable, we want to get it. Okay, and get the, the key out of it. And then this function loads the, the .env file, which, hides, which is hiding our environment, um, our API key. And the go.env library is coming from this one, github.com, joho, forward slide, go.env, okay. And um, I don't think we are using this strat. We are only using this strat, main strat, which has the temp, feels like temp mean, temp max, pressure, and humidity, okay? And then this function get data, we are passing in the city name and then the API key, okay? And then we are passing it through this, we are concatenating these two string to the um, URL, okay? We want to build this URL. And then we pass this URL to this make request function. Okay, and this is going to return a byte. Um, and then we return the byte. And then the byte is a weather response. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we are using the weather response, which has just the name and then the main. Okay. Um, you see, we are calling the main here inside the weather response. Okay. Um, and then the make, the make request takes only a URL, and then we are using the HTTP GET URL, and this is going to return a response and an error. We handle the error, and then we also use the IOUtil read all, and then we say response.body, and this is going to re return a JSON byte and an error, and then we defer the body close. We're closing the response body, but we're going to defer it using this keyword. Um, 
And then we use the JSON on Marshall, and then we pass in the JSON byte as well as a pointer to this uh, weather response. And then we, we check for the error handling, and then we return the weather response. So we can see the return type here is weather response. And then um, after that, we, we build another function called guest city. And this guest city gets passed, takes a, a city as an argument, and that city is a string. And then it, it returns a float 64 because our weather values is, is a float. So um, now we, we call this method load EMV as we declared up here, load EMV. And then we also call the get EMV and then we pass in the API key as a key and then it returns the API key. And then we pass that value to our get data um, function which takes CD and API key and it returns a response and this response, we get the temp out of it. So if you look at, um, if we say response dot main dot, you see it gives us all the values we can retrieve, like the humidity, the pressure, first like temp min, temp max, and then the temperature itself. So we are only interested in the temperature, okay? Um, yeah, so I think that is all for this util um, package. Now let's go to the CMD. We have two files in there. The first one is the root, and then the second one is the CD. Okay, so let's open the root file. And the root file, we have um, the use. This, we declared it ourselves. So this is going to be our command. Okay, this is going to be our command, vctl. You can call it whatever you want. And then we have a short description, which we call in a weather CLI app. Okay, and then a long description, we call in a weather app that shows the temperature of a city in the world. Okay. And then the rest is just a bunch of uh, uh, boiler code. We're not using all these ones. We can always change them. Um, can always change this uh, flags, but I'm going to maintain it for now. Um, we have another method in its config. All these ones are boiler plate codes. We're not going to change anything unless, of course, we are trying to do something crazy. Um, yeah, so that is just the main uh, uh, root file. And then we go inside city. And this is where everything happens. Um, it's not big of a code, but I'm just going to take you through the code. So you see, we declared a variable here called a var city name. Okay. And then we still have a var city command. And then it takes um, city and then a short description, get temperature of a city. And then the long description, we say, this command fetches the temperature from the web open weather map API. Okay. And then we run in this um, function. And um, what we are doing here is we are uh, declaring a variable called city. And uh, we're checking if the city name is not equal to empty string, then we assign the city name to this city variable up here. Or else we want to get the args. The args, this is a slice of a string. So we get in the first index, the first value uh, from the arguments. Okay. And then we assigning that to the city variable. And then once that happens, we pass in the city here. And then the get city returns a float. So we pass that also here. And then we call that CD, get CD function. And then we pass in the name of our CD that we want to get the temperature for. Okay. And this 
inside the init, we created, I created this um, persistent flag. And this points to the city name that I declared up here. So this city name is going to be our flag. Okay, it's going to be a flag inside the city sub command. Okay, so the short hand is C and then we don't have a default value. And then the usage is what? Find temp by city name. It's, it's a required argument because we are passing this mark persistent flag required. Okay, city, we're passing the string city. So we want to make sure that before you run our CLI, you pass in the name of the city. Okay, so it's, it's required. Um, so what we can also do is to, let's say, pass in the version of our application. So we can pass in, let's say, version, and then we can say, it's 0 0.1.0. And then we can also pass some example. And this example, we're going to say it's what? Um, we CTL city sub command. And then we're going to pass in um, city name. OK. So if somebody wants to run this command and they don't know what to do, they can look at this example. Okay. We can um, uh, do other stuff, but I'm going to pause here for now. Um, also, if we want to create um, a version file like this one, we can also, um, we can um, we can do this. Um, where is it? We can say. Um, let me see. We can say Cobra. I think I can help. And as you see, it said Cobra is a CLI library for Go that empowers application. This application is a tool to generate the needed files to quickly create a Cobra application. And you see the Cobra and then a command. And these are the command add, completion, help, init. Um, so to start the Cobra um, files, you need to type Cobra in it, and it, that is going to initialize the app for you, which I already did, so I don't want to go over. You can also ask for help, completion, and then add. This add a command to a Cobra application, and then it has some flags, the author, and then um, the config. I'm, I'm going to try this author. So let's type Cobra add, um, we're going to add, let's say, version, and then I'm going to pass this flag, author. Author, I'm going to pass in go data prof. So once we, we run that, you see in our uh, command folder, we have version.go. We're going to open that. And it actually generated this uh, file for us with a boiler code. Um, and then I'm just going to remove, um, you see the author name that I provided, you see, that is what you see, go data prof. Uh, we can maintain it or we can remove up, remove all up to this point and then we leave it. Um, so that is basically our, so we can pass in a brief description and say this print the version number of VCTL. 
weather CTL, and then a long description. Um, we can pass in all software has versions. This is VCTL. Okay. And then we just pass in VCTL V1.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
So anytime I want to check the temperature um, on my from my terminal, all I need to do is I'll say we CTL um, city, and then the name of the city is let's say Plano. Okay. Okay, so the Plano, the temperature at the Plano is 27 degrees. And if I want to say Akron, Ohio, you see the temperature there is what? Four degrees Celsius currently. Um, let me, I can also do this without this flag. I can also do this. Um, let me pass in, let's say, um, let's see, let me pass in Miami, okay. See, it's telling us that required CD, a flag CD not set, okay. So we need to pass in the CD uh, flag, okay. We cannot omit the um, CD flag, hyphen, hyphen, CD, Miami, okay. So the temperature in Miami is what, 28 degrees Celsius. So yeah, so um, that is all for this video. If also you haven't watched my previous video on, um, on the weather map um, API I created before, um, I will encourage you to uh, go watch it. And this is the name of that um, uh, video. It's how to consume or get weather data using Golang Fiber HTTP, HTTP REST API part 45E. So you can watch this video, then you move back to this video. So that will give you more information on what to do exactly, okay? So if you haven't watched this video, go watch it and then come back to this new video. Um, as I said before, I'll push the code to GitHub and then you can clone it and play with it. If you haven't subscribed also to the channel, please do. It's going to help us grow, like and share it. I'll see you in the next one.